Hey guys, I wanted to come on and redo a video um, that I had done earlier in the year in regards to Cricut Design Space not being able to read the cut lines. Um, so here I am. So on my screen, I actually have a versioning of um, the mat with an image and then the um, line around the image, that black line that goes around the image to indicate from Cricut Design Space that it's a print and cut and it should go to your printer and the portrait position. This one is showing um, on your mat an image in the landscape position. So I wanted you guys to have a clear cut picture of that. Um, and so what will happen is when you go in and you want to print this image out, number one, you have to make sure that the image sizing is at least 6.75 by 9.25 or smaller on a print and cut, okay? So I'm just gonna change this here. You have this little lock proportion and it's the same thing here. So there's more than one way you can do things within Cricut Design Space. So this is your lock proportion, as you can see. And this is the same thing. It just depends on which one you choose to use. If I'm already here, I just go here. If I'm already up here messing with these little icons here and buttons, then I would just go here. Okay, so they, they're the same thing. So if I go in and I unlock this, I just click it one time. And if I change it to 6.75 by 9.5, you're going to see that there's going to be, let me actually change something. Hold on one second. I'm going to change this to um, no feel to a print. That way we'll get the message. All right. So here I have the, the image and I'm going to make that image to be, I'm going to unlock it again and I'm going to make this image. I think I changed the size. Hold on. On my square. All right, gonna shift this out of the way for a second. And I'm just gonna change this to a print so that you'll get the true feel. So if I were to go and change her to, I'm just gonna say seven by nine you're gonna get this little alert message here. And that's because it's letting you know, and all you have to do is just click on that little rectangle, but it's letting you know that the largest you can um, print from Cricut Design Space is 6.75 by 9.25. So to resolve this issue, you would have to reduce that image to either 6.75 by 9.25 or smaller, okay? So I'm just gonna undo here and get me back to where I was. That's how you can resolve the issue of the print being too large. And you cannot get around printing anything larger than 6.75 by 9.25 from Cricut Design Space. Okay. The other thing is on this image over here, <clears throat> excuse me, the same thing applies. The only difference between the two is that when you, after you send this image to your printer, and you print it out and you place it on your mat, you're gonna have, I'm just gonna do this right here. Um, you're gonna have your you know, white sheet of paper or whatever. I have it um, blank just so you can get the full gist of the black line. But this Cricut is telling you how to position that paper or whatever material you have, it's telling you how it should be placed on your mat. So you can see here that it's telling me that after I print this image out, I need to lay that piece of paper onto my mat in the portrait position, okay? Now, if for whatever reasons, let's say I'm just not paying attention, okay? And I decide that I'm going to put it in the landscape position like this, okay? So what's gonna happen is your, let's see if I can get this. Your black line is going to be going 
like this, okay, because you laid it in the portrait position. However, Cricut is looking for your black line to be going in the portrait position, so you're going to get an error message, okay? So it's going to tell you that Cricut Design Space cannot read the cut lines on your image, and you need to rectify the image, I mean the um, issue, okay? So anytime you get that message, the first thing you want to look at is to make sure that your image is going in whatever position that mat is telling you it should be in, be it portrait or landscape, okay? So this should have been in the portrait. You laid it on your mat in the landscape position. So Cricut is looking for the lines to go all the way down here. However, the lines are stopping so they don't know. So it can't it can't cut this image out because it doesn't know where the image is um, on your mat. So all you would do is just take it and put everything in the portrait position. So you would just um, unload your mat. <clears throat> and I'm just clicking undo here so I can get everything back. But all you would do is just unload your mat and put that piece of paper um, with your image on it in the portrait position, reload it back into your machine, and then Cricut will be able to detect these cut lines and it would be able to cut your image out for you, okay? So I've actually showed you in this process two alert messages um, or talked about two alert messages that you can get within Cricut Design Space and how to resolve them. So the first one is your image is too large for print and cut, okay? The largest you can print and cut within Cricut Design Space is 6.75 by 9.25, all right? And then um, if for whatever reasons you do not lay your image in the same direction that your mat is showing you on your screen after you click make it, then that's going to be the first hint that you put it in the landscape position and not the portrait position, okay? Now, a couple of things to note, the Cricut Maker will cut, and I can only speak for the Cricut Maker because that's what I have. The Cricut Maker will cut on any color. I haven't tried black. I might try that today just to see what happens. Um, but blue, red, green, yellow, I can put any color in there. And like I said, I haven't tried black. Um, and even glitter, uh, glitter um, cardstock. And Cricut is going to find those. The Cricut Maker will find those um, cutting lines to go ahead and cut out my image. I'm not sure about the Explore, um, so I can't speak on that or the Cameos or anything like that, but I can tell you that for Cricut, the Cricut Maker, it will find the cut lines on um, your printing besides white, okay? The other thing is if you do get the message and you do realize that you have the image laying in the right position, then just take a black permanent marker and just go around the lines. Just go around the lines because maybe your lines are too light. Maybe your printer um, is not printing as dark as it could and Cricut can't pick up those cut lines because this line is not dark. So just take, and it can even be the Cricut um, pen, but just take it and, and mark around your, um, your black line here so that Cricut can pick it up. So unload it, re, you know, mark over your black line and then load it back in and go ahead and hit the go button. So that's what I wanted to show you guys here today um, is to talk about that. And the last thing I wanna tell you is if you have the Cricut Joy, the Cricut Joy does not print, okay? So there's nothing you can do to get around that. Um, you would have to use some other software to print um, because the Cricut Joy only draws and cuts. It does not print. So if you're getting an error message when you're trying to go in because you're trying to do a print and cut project and you keep getting an error message, it's because the Cricut Joy does not print. So I want to put that out there because I get a lot of people that will tell me you're still getting the, the error message. And the first thing I ask is what type of cutting machine you have. And when they tell me they have a, a Cricut Joy, which I do not have one, uh, when they tell me they have a Cricut Joy, then that's the reason you can't do print and cut because the Joy doesn't print and cut. It only draws and cut, okay? All right, guys, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions about what you've seen here today, then feel free to reach out and let me know. Um, just make sure your image is laying in the right direction to resolve your issue or make sure your image is the uh, right size to resolve that issue for the sizing. 
All right. If you are currently in my Facebook group, Candoris's Cricket and Creative Crafters, thank you guys so much for being in my group. And if you are currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, I also thank you for that as well. And if not, this is your first time seeing my tutorials and you like what you see, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, if you'll click on that bell notification in the top right-hand corner, that way you'll be made aware anytime I upload videos to YouTube. And also check out the playlist because that's where I categorize my different um, tutorial types based on sublimation or crafting or, you know, just how to maneuver things within Cricut Design Space. So there's a playlist for that. Again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to comment below. And I do respond to everyone except for porn-related questions. Okay. All right. Let's get that clear. All right, guys. And my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys enjoy the rest of your day.